before we begin this video is sponsored by manscaped they've just launched the lawnmower 3.0 in the republic of ireland you could be one of the first people to get this product it is perfect for when you're trying to trim those hairs down below and also it comes with an led light so it allows you to find those rougher edges a lot smoother and obviously it works in the shower so it is waterproof so you can use it down there but you don't always have to just get that product there's lots of other products on their website at manscaped.com use the code IFFTV for 20% off and free shipping check it out in this the description this kind of brings me Daniel Keegan has said it and I know we were going to allude to it anyway so thoughts on Jason Knight captaining Derby in Wayne Rooney's first I suppose game as the permanent manager he retired from football yesterday brilliant career uh, England's all time top scorer Man United's all time top scorer uh, Someone I looked up to when he was playing Everton as a 16-year-old. I loved him as a kid. But he went on to have such a good career with Man United, England, Everton and DC United. I think, I, I think that's all the clubs I've listed. Um, but if you look at what he's achieved in, the, in his career and how much he really, really likes Jason Knight. He made him captain in today's game. But as well as that, there's been lots of links on... Jason Knight and should he move away Burnley, Crystal Palace, West Ham have all been in for him there's a lot of talk of Derby trying to sell players at the moment they're just trying to sort out a takeover but they are looking to sell players to pay wages they, I think they haven't paid wages in a month so there's talk of offloading Jason Knight for a fee and another young lad as well so I think it's interesting, but firstly, your thoughts on him uh, as captain for Derby, what it means and how much of a big statement it is from Rooney to make him captain. And then we'll kind of talk about the clubs that he may go to. Yeah, it's it's a huge statement. I mean, Jason Knight's still only 19. He's not 20 until next month. And to, to captain a club like Derby and for a man of the stature of Wayne Rooney, who, as you say, Paul, was a superb player, for Everton, Man United and England. Um, to make him captain is quite a statement. And, and, and frankly, I was shocked at somebody so young being made captain. It shows how highly Wayne really, really thinks about him. And 19, I suppose yeah. I, wasn't even, I wasn't even considering Jason Knight as being a, a future Ireland captain, at least not for a number of years anyway, but that he's already captaining his club. So, but... As a player, he's been playing really, really well this season as well. I mean, he's been scoring goals, he's been starting and playing well in a team that, frankly, as you say, are struggling. I mean, there are issues in Derby. There is a takeover, takeover that's fallen through or hasn't quite happened. It may still happen. As you say, there's been issues pay, paying paying the wages. I think it's the second month now the players are paid. But is it half wages or something like that? I'm not sure anyway. But there are certainly financial issues there. And... It would be a shame if Jason Knight was sold just for financial issues to, to just become a squad player when he's playing so well and playing regularly with a manager that likes him. So I suppose the ideal scenario would be that uh, the takeover happens. There's money there for um, Wayne Rooney because he does seem to have done a really good job. He was there as caretaker manager and he arrested at the slide. Now, they are still in the relegation zone and it was a, a terrible home defeat today by Rotherham who've actually gone above them. But I mean, and had Derby even held on for a draw, it was a late goal, had even held on for a draw, they would have moved out, so out of the relegation zone. So I think absolute priority for a club like Derby is to definitely avoid dropping down to League One. But I, I think that'll happen if the takeover happens and Wayne Rooney gets a little bit of money to spend and bring a couple of players in. And... Uh, I suppose my own view would be it would be great if Jason Knight was playing in the Premier League, yes. It might be a big ask for him to go at 19, even as captain of Derby and even as a regular starter, to go to a West Ham, to a Burnley, the Crystal Palace and just walk into their team and be playing regularly in the first team. Uh, do I think he's good enough? Yes. I think he's definitely one of our brightest hopes for the future. And there's a lovely... Dynam dynamism, dynamism, or um, well, there's lovely, um, just so much energy in, in the way Jason Knight plays, and he's he scores the goals, which is so crucial for an Irish team at the moment. And uh, so, 
I mean, my thoughts on him would I, I would be happier if he stayed with Derby, I suppose, and played for the rest of this season. Uh, there's no way I'd like to see him drop down to League One. Uh, next season, maybe playing, get a move to the Premier League, but hopefully at a stage where he's considered a starter or at least to get a lot of game time with the club in the Premier League. I think he's more than good enough. But um, maybe it wouldn't do him any harm to spend another few months at Derby being managed by one of the greatest players of all time in English football, which Wayne Rooney was. Time will tell whether he will turn out to be a great manager. I mean, some great players fail miserably at managers, but but some uh, do go on to become excellent managers as well. And uh, certainly when Rooney started off pretty well, notwithstanding today's defeat. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a tough one for him at Derby. Tough one for Jason Knight. But I suppose, ultimately, if Derby need the money and they have to pay the players' wages, they will sell any assets they have. And Jason Knight seems the obvious person that they would sell. Well, I think the one thing that Rooney's got is the fact that he was a young wonder kid and he will probably know what's best for Knight in terms of you know, being young and being highly thought of and pressure on you and stuff like that. And he seems to be relishing the pressure. He seems to be doing right, very well under the pressure. But I think with Rooney having been there and done it as someone as a young prodigy coming through, I think it's a perfect per- person for him to learn off right now. And the fact that he was teammates with him and stuff like that. So I think he won't be as harsh on night as, say, maybe a Sean Dyche or, or somebody like that. Now, I think if he did go to Burnley, he would have Robbie Brady there with him. But it's just the style of play in which Burnley play, I think he said. Whereas maybe West Ham, that would suit him a bit more. But would he start there? I don't think he would right now. That's not to say he wouldn't go and be a star in the future in the Premier League. But I think, as you said, now would probably be the wrong move. And to finish the season with Derby, maybe help them stay up if they can sort out their, their money issues. I mean, if he's not getting paid or whatever, you, could, you couldn't really blame him for leaving. But in terms of a development sense, I would like to see him stay at Derby for the rest of the season. Or if he signs for a club and they loan him back, that, that, that would be ideal as well. Um, just to see how he gets on for the rest of the season. I just don't think that he should be jumping up to the to the Premier League right now unless he's guaranteed to be a starter for a club and as you said of those clubs and the way they play is he going to be a starter I mean I know Jason could play on the on the he can be like a wide midfielder or or centre mid as well so if he went to Crystal Palace he'd be get, trying to compete with James McArthur and probably James McCarthy and then if he's playing out wide right, uh, wide right or wide left he's playing Eze or Zaha maybe in front of him as well or Townsend so the, there is all those players there that he'd be vying for the competition. I'm sure if if he was given long enough, he could get in the team. But it's the matter now if he's actually playing for first team football, captaining Derby. So ideally, I would like to see him stay at Derby. If I'm being honest. Yeah, that'd be that'd be my thoughts as well, Paul. I would like to see him play at Derby. I I would like to see him playing regularly because I think he's another player that will probably start in Belgrade with. If you if Stephen was picking his team now, I would imagine based on form he would be looking at Jason Knight as one of his midfield three. 